Today's topic. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? This is your host, TOV, the Open World TV, back with another video to react to. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any suggestions in mind, put it down in the comment section. Or you can also email me because it's going to be in the description below. So, without further talking, let's start cooking. Never going on a date ever again. Listen what happened to me. So I went on a date with this boy. He's six eight, right? I don't even care at this point. We go out to dinner and this lady comes around with roses, like selling roses, and I was like, oh my god, like she's gonna come up to our table and he's gonna buy me a rose, bitch. She comes up and she was like, Do you want to buy a rose for the miss? And he was like, I'm good, thanks. I looked at him and I was like, So you're not gonna buy me a rose? And he was like, Oh, I don't have cash on me, sorry, love. The bill comes. And he fucking pays the pill with cash. Okay, so a few things to notice on this one, right? It's pretty simple, pretty short, 30 second video. So first off, she starts with, "I am never gonna go on a date again." We're not going to talk about the grammar part because that part I won't even waste my time trying to get the grammar right. But it's okay. So first thing first, um, thank you for saying that and to show your frustration because the person you went on a date with didn't want to get you a rose. Mind you, he's already getting you a meal. But hey, instead of being thankful for the meal, you're mad because he didn't get you a rose. Well, that's a great sign that this man or this boy, as you said, should dodge you next time and never go out with you anymore because you are ungrateful for him taking you out to eat and instead of being complaining about not getting a rose, he should be like, thank you, it was a great date for taking me out to dinner or free meal. Let's move on. Let's actually look at something interesting. Let's go back to the video and let's start again. I'm never going on a date ever again. Listen okay. to what happened to me. So I went on a date with this boy. He's six eight, right? I don't even care at this point. Alright, so first thing first, why are you out with a boy? First question. Why would you pick a boy? Like there's no man out there that you think would be um, better for you? No, one, one thing I've noticed is girls nowadays or women nowadays, they want to date boys. Great. Um, I'm not sure how old that person is, but when you say boy in my mind, I'm thinking of like a teenager. Because those are boys. Apparently once you turn 18, you are no longer a little boy, you are an adult, so you become a man. Now, was he a minor? I guess possibly. Or was he a boy because he didn't get you the rose? In that case, I don't think it's actually a boy. I think it's actually a man who knows not to waste money on unnecessary things. Does he claim you? His girl, yeah, that you are his girlfriend? Well, apparently no, because he would have bought you the rose. But hey, it's his money. Get one for yourself. Now, question is for you, girl. If the lady would have come to you and say, hey, miss, do you want to buy this man a rose? Would you have said yes or would you have said no? <laughs> I think the answer is more likely no. But let's move on. Let's move on. We go out to dinner and this lady comes around with roses, like selling roses. And I was like, oh my god, like she's gonna come up to our table and he's gonna buy me a rose, bitch. She comes up and she was like, do you want to buy a rose for the miss? And he was like, I'm good, thanks. I looked at him and I was like, so you're not 
not gonna buy me a rose? And he was like, oh, I don't have cash on me. Sorry, love. Hi. <laughs> I like this girl already. I think I think that's her name because I don't think a boy would have said no. I think the boy would have, you know, when you're a teenager, you really want to impress all the time. It's like, oh, let me show my money or whatever. Yeah, I think the boy would have probably bought you the rose. But I think that's a man who knows his value and see that there's no need to spend money on the rose that is not even gonna last the next day, possibly because. Once you get home, you smell it all the way home. Once you get home, oh, all right, trash can. So why waste the money? Now, that's a great management skill that this, I must say, this man portrayed because he brought cash. That means he knows how much money you may want to spend on that dinner date. Which means, whatever you're gonna order, he already made the calculation of how much it might cost. So any additional things, he will disregard because he has a budget. Now, I know many of your females out there don't like men with a budget. He has to just spend and spend and spend. If he can spend on you $6,000, He's not a man, he's a boy. Well, unfortunately, if I have to spend $6,000 to prove that I'm a man to you, uh, then I think that money, I can use it on buying a new car instead. For me. Not for you, for me, yeah. Or maybe I got uh, a down payment on a brand new truck. You know, yes. I will not spend that money on you, no. Because that's just reckless spending. But, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if she has a good point to being angry at the men for not spending that much money. The bill comes, and he fucking pays the bill with cash. All right. Remember I mentioned earlier that maybe he knows how much money he has to spend. Maybe he already has a budget. Guess what ladies? Um, some men out there are not just um, cash flow wallet. You know, you just comes in and you put your, 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 your hands in his pocket and get money out. Some of us actually, we learn to manage money. We learn to invest our money. We learn to spend it wisely. If I know I'm gonna go, actually, let me give you a great example. What I do is, for my money, if I'm putting gas usually, but now I change it because I have a benefit of not using that anymore. But before that, when I was putting gas in my car, I would use my credit card so I can pay it off right there. If it's a big budget, I use my debit card, you know? Because I don't like to make, I don't like to make payment plans on credit card, it's not a great thing. If you can pay it off all the way before the due date, better for you. But I think some of you already think men are, men are supposed to be walking wallets so you can just spend money. Well, some of us have woken up to that and thought, hmm, maybe I should not do that anymore. So, that man that you're calling a boy is actually a smart man. And I think if he can see my video, he would know that, hey man, please, you just dodged a bullet. Do not go back to her because she will get angry if you don't give her what she wants. Yeah, I just said that. So guys, this was T.O.V. The Open Veil TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>